here's the shit right here. Get a little tired when you do this, you know. Maybe he's concentrating on watching that bleed meter, making sure it doesn't go over a certain level so it blows the whole tower up and everybody crashes the ground. But, you know, got a little stress at home. It's only 2022. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So just a little interesting thought there, guys. A little thought experiment. Let me get us back out of there. <laughs> it interests me. Yeah. It interests me when you see something like that on the screen. And you got something like that. Imagine going to work and working in an environment like that. Look, I man, I run construction businesses. It's, it's insane. That's like 50, 50x to my insanity. But the thing is, is imagine being a stay-at-home wife and complaining about doing your end of the agreement, the accord that you struck in the beginning of the relationship. It's it, it it's it's it boggles the mind to see women fussing about being a woman in this day and age. Now, I think a dude like that, that's handling business like that, you know, he shouldn't be doing the laundry. I don't think he should be cleaning the house. I don't think he should be doing anything except for providing provisioning security and making sure his tribes on the right direction in this world. It amazes me. It just, ama it boggles the mind, Lord. It just, it boggles my mind. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. You know, and that girl, the blonde that I shared earlier, she she validated it. She's going to get a younger, he's going to get a younger version of her if you don't do those things. So basically what she said in her little dissertation there, that grading voice was, you know, everything that he was attracted to in the beginning, I don't have to do anymore. And see, I think men and women both have a burden of performance. Mm -hmm. I think when it comes to men, they definitely have a burden of performance to provide and provision and, and offer security and keep her, you know, well sexed and, and handling, handling your business, you know, but it's interesting when women get comfortable, they get lazy and it goes back to vetting. If you get a lazy woman in your life, you're in for a long road to hoe. I don't care how much frame you have, how masculine you are. I don't care about any of that. You're in for a long road to hoe so, because you're so, going to end up with a woman like that. Yeah, Phil. So let's, let's have this conversation, you know, uh, has modern women forgotten the power they truly have? I mean, she, here we just saw, you know, Joanna says that these are great examples, but she doesn't think they're regular guys. I'll tell you right now, those are regular guys. Yeah, they're flying helicopters. They're handling 500,000 volts. They're in one of the highest risk industries there is. But guess what? They all started out as regular guys. All of them did. Totally. And, you know, the power of this is, is when these women will help their men provide nurture and be that help mate we talked about. This guy will go out there and he'll work and he'll get rates of hundreds of dollars an hour. And guess what? He'll hand it all over to her gladly. Yep. And it will be his joy. To bless her with what she wants, a good home, good cars, good social circle. She'll even get him Julio the pool boy to clean the pool, which is a mistake. But that's what the guy will do. He'll just feed her everything she needs until she, and she will never have enough. But that is the power of femininity. When she's fully supportive of his man, he, he can conquer the world. Oh.